Hi there, this is a novice level trap called the Overworked King and it's in the Queen's Gambit accepted. After d4 and d5, c4 is the Queen's Gambit where white is offering up the c pawn in order to gain control of the center. If d takes on c4, white could play here e4, gaining full control of the center or support the pawn on d4 with e3. But very often white likes to play knight f3 first. Black hits at the center with c5, attacking now the pawn on d4, by the pawn and by the queen. And white can support the pawn with e3 and also releasing the bishop on f1 to take the pawn on c4. Now if black takes the pawn on d4, white can capture first on c4, not necessarily on d4. And after bishop takes on c4, this position has been reached countless times. And I notice that Ivanchuk and Shirov and Grischuk have all played this position with black. And they've all played this move, queen c7 in this position, hitting the bishop on c4. Yet none of the, es these esteemed players have ever considered this move, d takes on e3, which is a losing move for black, because here... White has a tactical shot, bishop takes on f7 check, hitting the king now on e8, and the king is overworked, meaning he has too much to do. He has to defend himself against the bishop, while he has to defend his partner, the queen, on d8, against the threat of queen takes on d8. So after king takes on f7, queen takes d8, it's game over, white is a queen up. So this has been the overworked king trap in the Queen's Gambit accepted. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.